Good morning. This is All India Radio, Kohima. The morning news are read by Jonas Yantan. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has said that the country is now connecting its traditional skills with modern possibilities. After performing the Pumi Bhujan ceremony of Hostel Phase 1, built by Sarostra Badel Seva Samaj in Surat via video conferencing yesterday, the Prime Minister said in the new national education policy, the option of teaching professional courses in the local languages has also been given. Now, studies are not limited to degrees, but studies are being linked with skills. The Prime Minister remembered Sardar Patel and quoted a great leader to emphasise that caste and greed should not be allowed to hinder the task of national development. Finance Minister Nirmala Sitharaman has urged for greater equity in vaccine access and affordability as the world looked for a faster exit towards recovery and growth. Participating in the restricted breakfast meeting of the International Monetary Fund in Washington, D.C., Sitharaman conveyed that India recognises that universal vaccination is the key to stemming the spread of the virus. The finance minister highlighted to all the participants that despite the pandemic crisis, India continued its agenda of structural reforms. More than 97 crore for like COVID-19 vaccine doses have been administered in the country so far under the nationwide vaccination drive. India's active caseload stands at 2 like 3,678 and it is the lowest in 216 days. Active cases account for less than 1% of the total cases and it is currently at 0.60%, the lowest since March last year. The ministry said the recovery rate is currently at 98.07%, highest since March last year. Union Ministry of Women and Child Development, WCD, has said that the Global Hunger Report 2021, which has lowered India's rank on the basis of Food and Agriculture Organization, estimate on proportion of undernourished population, is found to be devoid of ground reality and facts. It said the report suffers from serious methodological issue. The ministry said that the publishing agencies of the Global Hunger Report, Concern Worldwide and Well Hunger Hilfe, have not done their due diligence before releasing the report. In a statement, the ministry said that the methodology used by Food and Agriculture Organization is unscientific and that they have based their assessment on the results of a four-question opinion poll which was conducted telephonically by Collab. The WCD ministry added that there is no scientific methodology to measure undernourishment like availability of food grains per capita during the period. The ministry said that the report completely disregards government's massive effort to ensure food security of the entire population during the COVID period, verifiable data on which are available. In cricket, Chennai Super Kings beat Kolkata Knight Riders by 27 runs to win its fourth IPL title in Dubai last night. Put in the bat first, Chennai posted a massive total of 192 for the loss of three wickets in the stipulated 20 overs. In reply, Kolkata could score only 165 runs for nine wickets in 20 overs. With this, MS Tony led Chennai lifted the IPL trophy for the fourth time, having previously won the tournament in 2010, 2011 and 2018. Meanwhile, in football, seven-time champions India will take on Nepal in the final of the South Asian Football Federation Championship at Malay in Maldives today. And as India is on the verge of vaccinating 100 crore people against COVID-19, All India Radio salutes all the people, doctors, nurses and others who made this possible. At the same time, we caution our listeners that the battle against COVID is not yet over. We appeal to our listeners who are yet to be fully vaccinated to get vaccinated at the earliest and also help others get vaccinated. During the festival season, please follow these three simple steps. Wear a face mask, maintain six feet for social distancing, focus on hand and face hygiene. For any COVID-related information and guidance, contact National Helpline numbers 011-2397-8046 and 1075 and State Helpline number 1800345-0019. With that, we come to the end of the morning news. Have a nice day.